everybody, it's Charlie from DM Sound, and today we've got the sound system demo on the 2024 BMW X5 and its 20 speaker Bowers & Wilkins Diamond Surround audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to take a look at how the iDrive 8 infotainment system works, take a look at audio inputs, adjustments and controls, and we're going to look at all the speaker locations, and then we're going to head out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning and you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video, we've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And I recommend listening with headphones so you can hear exactly what I hear in the driver's seat. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. Now you can't get the Bowers & Wilkins system in all X5s, this one being an X5M competition, it is an option. So facelifted for 2024, I think they still made it look really good, honestly it's a, it's a handsome model. This thing drives like no large SUV like this should. It's a lot of fun. If you want to see more, check the link in the description. We might not have a drive review on the X5M Comp right away, but we do have this video and a lot of coverage coming soon. Now we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed WAV files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory default. So let's take a look at those now iDrive 8, a little bit of an overwhelming system at first, but once you get comfortable with how to use, work it, you can either control it with this rotary knob or the touch screen. It's a pretty good system. We're in the media screen now. We're gonna head over here to sound, and we have reset the settings here at the bottom, but let's go through all the different uh, information and settings the system provides us. So first we've got sound profiles. You've got studio, concert, on stage, and rear. That's going to change sort of the echoiness and artificial surround settings of the system. So let's listen to a few of those. Right now we're in concert, but studio is going to give you the most true to recording. So listen to the echoiness go away here. And then you've got on stage. And then you can focus the music on the rear. We're gonna go back up to studio, even though that's not the factory default for this car. Then below that you have immersive sound, actually. We need to, we need to have one of the immersive modes on in order to do immersive sounds. So let's go back to concert and we'll adjust immersive sound here, the 3D intensity. So if you want it to sound even more 3D, you can tune that up. And we got the song uh, switching over here. So let's go back to studio. And then we'll skip experience the sound for the moment. You've got adjustments for treble and bass. Let's adjust both of those once the song gets started. Below that, you have front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. And then what I like to see, a nine-band equalizer. I think any sound system that claims to be a luxury sort of top-end sound system should have an equalizer like that just just to feel like you're getting the most out of your system. I mean, would you want a track-oriented car that only restricted you to minimal kind of driving settings? No, you want to be able to customize it. So we'll go through treble and bass, but just know you can really fine-tune settings to your ears preferences. gotta crank this volume knob to get it to make adjustments there's a lot of adjustability there and that's all you've got for sound settings for audio controls here in the x5 you still got a nice volume knobs and decent reach of the driver nice clickage there you also have volume adjustments on the right side of the wheel for track selection thankfully even though i drive 8 gets rid of a lot of physical controls you still have physical track controls here i like to see that you're also able to adjust tracks using the touch screen the rotary knob or this control right below the volume on the right side of the wheel for audio inputs in the X5, you've got your standard AM, FM, HD radio, Sirius XM support, Bluetooth streaming, wired Apple CarPlay and Android auto support. You've got a USB-A port, surprisingly, up there still for a data connection. And that is it. So it's a little surprising to not see any sort of streaming services built in. Maybe that's something that you could install in iDrive 8. I mean, there's so many applications here. Maybe that's something they'll add here at some point. But also no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack or disc input or USB-C for data. There's USB-C down here for charging, but data is USB-A only. Speaker locations. Now, like I said, this is a 20 speaker system. We got quite a lot going on here. So 
Starting in the bottom left here in the door, you've got a mid-ranger there, one tweeter, two. That's one of the diamond tweeters that lights up. I think both of those speakers light up. In the center, you've got tweeter and mid-range, three, four, five, six on the other door. Above us, seven, eight of these uh, 3D tweeters. And then under the seat subwoofers, nine, 10, moving into the back, 11 mid-range, 12 tweeter, 13 mid-range, 14 tweeter, 15, 16 3D tweeters, 17, 18, 19, 20 mid-range and tweeter in the D pillars there. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff put away and we're gonna head out on the road. I forgot to do this when we were static, but let's listen to immersivaudioalbum.com's surround 5.1 demo and see how this Bowers & Wilkins handles true 5.1. Welcome to the Immersive Audio Album Channel Configuration Test. Left. Center. Right. Left surround. Right surround. The Immersive Audio Album Channel Configuration Test is now complete. Hey all! So as you can see from that, we're getting full proper 5.1. Each channel is given its own section. And when the LFE hits, you barely hear it because it's all coming from the, the proper subwoofers. One more thing I wanted to do before we get into the normal test is I forgot to show off the um, experience the sound. I really like that BMW and Bowers and Wilkins does this. To give an opportunity to flex that, uh, your sound system in general, but also the surround capabilities in case you don't have 5.1 music like I do on the drive there. Now you're not gonna see the video because we're driving, but there's some fancy effects that come up on screen when you're stopped. I think it's smart for them to bake in that sizzle reel and, and again, get an opportunity, whether it's in the showroom or someone's driveway to show off the, the sound system like that.
I had the same observations with the i5 that I tested earlier. The, the tuning of these Bowers and Wilkins systems is very bright. I'm getting a lot from those tweeters. I mean, there are a lot of tweeters in this car after all. And I'm getting a lot of uh, upper mid-range. And in this car, because we've got the underseat subwoofers, I am getting a, a, a moderately satisfying amount of kind of lower mid-range bass. But I'd like to have the system turned down a little bit and, and feel a little bit more push through the chest. But speaking of power for this next track, we are going to turn the bass all the way up, see what we can squeeze out of these underseat subwoofers. I don't like the accuracy of this already. I'm, I'm hearing it. It doesn't seem right. Okay, so that's a good amount of power. And the cool thing with the underseat subwoofers is I'm feeling it in my body. It's, it's more of an immersive experience. Even though I'm not getting much mirror shakage. But yeah, those one, two, three, every third beat right there, that snare hit doesn't sound right. my thoughts here on the Bowers and Wilkins system here in the 24 X5. Now I should say right off the bat, I know we're not testing at 70 mile per hour speeds. The time and the distance we have with this car is limited. So we've got to work with what we got here. I still think I was able to get a pretty real uh, kind of higher speed impression of the car back on those higher speed roads. I like a lot of the sound out of these speakers in general. I think the speakers are high quality. There is a good amount of power in the system and obviously there's plenty of speakers around the car. I am a bit unhappy with the tuning. Like I said, I, I would like more of a low end tuning, a little bit more uh, substantial sounding, really allowing the musicality to come through. Instead, there's a little too much focus on the high end, the crispy elements. And I don't think that's the best call for most type of music. I am really impressed by the 5.1 capabilities of the system. If you listen to a lot of talk radio, I think you're really gonna appreciate the center speakers right there being able to bring through really crisp, clear vocals. For a rating, I'd give it slightly, slightly higher than the i5 we listened to earlier. There are some weird inaccuracies, some of the songs I listened to today, but overall, the balancing is better and the power is a little better. So it's coming in at a high A. Not quite S tier, not quite up to stuff with the, the 7 series, both the X7 and the i7 and 760, but a very, very strong system here and one I think a lot of people are going to be happy with. 
So thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the X5, check the link in the description. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from DM Sound, and as always, drive on.